Hot take of the day, Wally is one of the most fat phobic movies I've ever seen. So yeah, as you guys just heard, this girl has some crazy views. And today I thought it would be fun to do something different on my channel and break down her arguments and defend Wally while having fun doing it. I'm Moonlight F and let's fly right into this. Because the movie's entire premise hinges on the fact that the worst thing to come out of capitalism is that it made us all fat. She says that the movie hinges on this, but that's just incredibly wrong. The reason humans went up to space in the first place was that they ruined Earth and killed almost every other living thing. That's why in the movie, spoiler, the only living things we see is the roach, the plant, and humans, because that's all that's left. The movie hinges on the idea that excessively wanting more, despite not needing it, will have terrible consequences long term. And this ties into the greater message that the story is trying to convey, but I'll get to that a little bit later. They make this out to be a dystopia. But all of these people are fed and clothed, they interact with their friends on a daily basis, there's no need for menial labor or exploitation. Yeah, true, they are enjoying being taken care of, but that's exactly the problem. And I know at this point some of you are saying, Moonlight, how could this be dystopian? Doesn't everyone want to be taken care of? Well, let me answer that like this. How many times have you wished to be on life support or dreamed about having to use a wheelchair for the rest of your life? I know that seems stupid to ask, but that's my entire point. Being reliant on something for the rest of your life isn't great. We know that already. So many people hope that one day they won't have to be reliant on machines for their survival. See, when this girl talks about how good their life is, she is under the assumption that they have a choice in the matter, that at any time they can choose to do things for themselves. But in the movie, the only thing we see is automation, so much so that the people no longer even walk for themselves or even have to chew for themselves. Even the kids from a young age are being conditioned to end up just like their parents. And to make it worse, it's a well-known real-world fact that being this weight isn't good for overall health. So it isn't just about aesthetics, it is literally bad for them. Even if they enjoy being taken care of, that doesn't get rid of the bad effects. Kind of like a gambling addiction. There isn't any implication that there's any kind of systemic inequality in this world either. For this point that she made here, I will agree with her on since there isn't any evidence to suggest otherwise. So here's something we're actually on the same page about. And even though they explain that the reason why people have put on weight is because their bone density has lessened without gravity, they're still depicted as like gluttons who can't stop drinking big gulps. There's a reason why they're depicted like that and it ties in fundamentally with the message of this movie, but I'll explain that a little bit later on. Stay with me. The only other reason the movie condemns capitalism is because it destroyed Earth. And frankly, I think that's enough. I think saying, Mega Walmart over here destroyed the planet and humans deserve a planet to call home is enough without adding on this like, we better save the planet so that we don't get fat bullshit. At the end of the day, I think this movie just relies on stereotypes about fatness as a metaphor for like human greed as a whole. And in addition to being fat phobic, I find it very lazy. On this point here, I strongly disagree. See, she says that just depicting Mega Walmart over here destroyed the planet is enough to showcase greed. But this isn't about an organization or an economic system. It was all of them that destroyed Earth. Their collective greed is what ruined the planet. That's the brilliance of this movie, is that they force you as the viewer to see what greed is, has not only done to the planet, but slowly what it's doing to the people. When humans couldn't fix the problem of pollution, they ditched Earth with the robots, aka Wallys, to clean it up, and this seemed to be a solution. But because the underlying issue wasn't addressed, the greed, the people on the ship began to repeat what they did before, and since in space you can always dump trash into the void, as the viewer we can't see the problem in terms of trash. So where does the problem show up? In the people themselves. Their health slowly breaking down over generations shows the end result of not fixing the problem and drives home the fact that simply running away from your issues doesn't make them disappear. The ship's log is showing that today is our 700th anniversary of our five-year cruise. Well, but at the end of the day, I'm Moonlight F, and I'm just looking out for you. Check the mic and make sure it sounds right, boys.